Hey! What's up guys, it's RGT85. I have a lot of physical Nintendo Switch games, as you guys are probably well aware of. So today I decided to show off my physical collection. Now this isn't a dick measuring contest. If you have more games than me, that is awesome. I am very proud of you. I am simply just showing you the physical games that I own personally. Now unfortunately, this isn't all the games I own. I obviously own a lot of digital games as well because of things like review copies or the game only coming out digitally. But I basically just wanna show you guys all of my physical games, show you guys all of the games that I own and see what you guys think of it. So yeah, let's just pop right into it. So first off, we have a sealed copy of Darksiders War Mastered Edition. I actually had this game digitally, but I really enjoyed it, so I picked up a physical copy. We have Toy Con 4 for the Labo. Ugh. We've got Cave Story from Nycolis. I like Nycolis games. They come with a bunch of extra goodies, so that's always really cool. We have Mega Man X Legacy and X2 Legacy Collection for the Nintendo Switch. One of these was a digital download code, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Crash Insane Trilogy. This is also sealed because I have a digital copy of this game, but I did enjoy this game. I thought it was a really good compilation as well. Uh, Nintendo Labo Toy Con 2. <laughs> We also have this Gaia 5 Complete. It is sealed. I don't own this digitally. I just have never played this game. I hear it's really good. I probably should open it up, but sometimes it's kind of intimidating to jump into an RPG, especially when you got a lot of stuff going on. But I do want to check it out eventually. We have The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. This was a game that I got pretty early in the Switch life cycle. I did enjoy the game, though. It was kind of fun. It's very dark, and I like sort of dark and creepy games. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I did own this this on the Wii U. I picked it up on the Switch as well. I really love this game. I think Captain Toad is awesome. Put Captain Toad in Smash Brothers. I mean, it's better than Byleth. Oh, I'm going to get some heat for that. We also have Axiom Verge. This is a game that's released on nearly every platform in the entire universe, and it also came out on the Switch. Next up, we have Super Mario Odyssey. Honestly, this is probably my favorite Nintendo Switch game, just beating out Breath of the Wild. I love this game. I love everything about this game. New Donk City is absolutely awesome. And yeah, this is probably my favorite Nintendo Switch game to date. We have a sealed copy of Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection. I got this game digitally. I absolutely love it. So many great Street Fighter games on here. Really great ports as well. So definitely a must own in my opinion. We have Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. It came with a bunch of extra goodies and things of that nature. Let's open it up and see. You got all sorts of cool goodies in here. I always enjoy stuff like this. So great game as well. We have Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I don't think I've played this yet, but I bought it. So yeah, I, I kind of forgot that I own this. Victor Vran Overkill Edition. I simply bought it because I love Motorhead and Motorhead is in the game. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Ring Fit Adventure. I haven't played this game, but Beetlejuice played this game and he seemed to really sort of kind of enjoy it. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to check it out one day. We have a sealed copy of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I got this on a Black Friday sale. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball, so I've just never really had any interest in playing it. Octopath Traveler, of course, a great game. Everyone loves this game. Square Enix doing great work on the Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know if you've ever heard of this game before. It seems like it's a pretty popular Nintendo Switch game though. So if you haven't checked it out, kind of a hidden gem. Breath of the Wild, it's called The Legend of Zelda or Zelda, Zel Zelda. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but definitely a game you should check out. Definitely an under the radar game. We have Doom on the Nintendo Switch. I absolutely love this version of Doom. Doom is awesome. I cannot wait for Doom Eternal. We have a display box only because I lost the standard box for NBA 2K18. Okay. Katamari Damacy Reroll. This is a sealed copy of the game. I did get this game digitally. I love this game. Go buy this game. It is a great game. Retro City Rampage DX. This did come out on the eShop, but they did a very limited run of the, not limited run games, but a limited run of a physical version of it. Awesome game if you like top-down Grand Theft Auto style games. Poi, not a bad little 3D platformer. Puyo Puyo Tetris, you know, puzzle games are always kind of fun, so that's a cool little game there. RBI Baseball 17, at least the show is coming to the Nintendo Switch finally, because those RBI Baseball games aren't all that great. Cinemora EX, a really interesting shoot 'em up game. You know, some people don't like this game. I thought it was really fun, so I don't know what the beef was with it. Sonic Forces, bonus edition, bonus edition. I will always say this is a decent Sonic game. It is not good, it is not great, but it is not bad. It is not nearly as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. 
We have Splatoon 2. You're a kid now. You're a squid now. You're a kid. You're a squid. You're a kid. Donkey Kong Country. Tropical Freeze. Hard as hell game. But at least you got Funky Kong. Funky Kong. Starlink Battle for Atlas. I have the full little edition of it with the R-Wing and everything. I really love this game. I don't care what anyone says. It would suck without the Star Fox stuff in it, but I think the Star Fox stuff makes the game really good. So it's definitely a very fun game. Uh, it'll do two. I don't think I've played this. I played the first It'll Do. I beat the first It'll Do. I don't think I've played this. This is another Nicholas game. And honestly, I did not own, know that I own this. So this is a complete surprise to me. Dark Souls Remastered. If you hate your life and you want a difficult challenge, go ahead and play Dark Souls Remastered. It'll make you realize that, hey, you know what? Your life just isn't all that bad. We have I Am Setsuna, the Japanese edition. It only came out in Japan physically. So I picked this up. I actually like this game. You know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of simplistic for an RPG, but it is a pretty good game. Uh, Cabela's The Hunt Championship Edition. Uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, this is actually a reversible cover that I got because um, I don't know why I have the reversible cover, but I've actually been playing a lot of Skyrim lately on the Switch. I really love this game. And Has Been Heroes. Everyone bought this game because it came out on the Switch. It was like $20, but really I didn't think it was all that bad like a lot of people made it out to be. Wow, we still have a lot of games to go through. All right, Yoshi's Crafted World, a fun game, a really pretty game, so that's cool. A sealed copy of Friday the 13th, the game. I got this game digitally. I love this game. You should buy this game so that I can kill you as Jason Voorhees. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, another fantastic game. One of the best exclusives for the Switch in 2019. Another great exclusive game, Astral Chain. Definitely, I love the soundtrack. You hear the soundtrack in many of my videos. Uh, Spiral Reignited Trilogy, I thought these games games were pretty decent on the Switch. I thought they did a pretty good job with the port of them. Uh, CTR Racing, the best crash team racing game ever, the best kart racing game ever, the best racing game ever, and the best video game ever on the Nintendo Switch. I have nothing bad to say about this game. Nothing bad to say about it. Dragon's Dogma, did you finish Elder Scrolls and you're looking for something else and you don't want to pay the full price for The Witcher? Buy this, really good game. We've got Luigi's Mansion 3, another great 2019 Switch game, my 2019 Switch game of the year. We have Collection of Mana. I picked this up, or Mana, if you want to say it like that. I picked this up during Black Friday. Haven't gotten around to opening it yet. I might just keep it sealed, though, come to think of it. Assassin's Creed, the uh, Rebel Collection, which consists of Black Flag and Rogue. I absolutely love Black Flag, so I had to have this. Mario Tennis Aces, I finally bought this game. It is still sealed though. I need to get around to playing it. I remember at Too Many Games 2017, I beat Woods, or maybe it was 18. I think it was 18. I beat Woods' ass on a live stream that he was doing from there, so that was satisfying. Pokemon Shield, a very, you know, split game in the Pokemon community. Just Dance 2020, it stinks. I mean, if you like Billy Eyelash, I guess it's cool. Mutant League Football Dynasty Edition, I love this game. I think it's really fun. Kirby Star Allies, a kind of easy game, but you know, it was a little fun to be had, a little fun. Mortal Kombat 11, everything aside from the crypt is awesome in this game. Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles, this is a really relaxing game, but a really fun game. I don't think enough people picked it up. Batman, the Telltale series, I don't like Telltale games, but I do like Batman, so I had to have this. The End is Nigh. This game is hard as hell, and it's one of those games where it's like designed to be hard, like Super Meat Boy, so I don't really like those styles of games, but if you like them, that's cool. Farming Simulator, because everyone needs to have a farming game in their Nintendo Switch collection. We have L.A. Noir, which of course you have to download most of the game. I actually did not know I owned this physically. I thought I just owned it digitally. That's the fun thing about these videos. I'm like learning about games that I didn't know I own. Wild Guns Reloaded, it's Wild Guns with additional content, very fun and tiny barbarian dx i actually bought this game just because i was bored with my nintendo switch at the time and i wanted something to play moving right along lego city undercover i played and beat this game on the wii u but i wanted it on the switch as well still haven't opened it Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers. I'm probably one of the few people that absolutely love this game, but I absolutely love that game. We have Super Bomberman R. Of course, this was a Nintendo Switch launch title. You know, it's Bomberman, it's fun. Lost Sphere, which is set in the I Am Setsuna sort of universe, kind of, sort of, I think. I don't know, I still haven't opened it yet. Um, I probably never will. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't know if you've ever heard of this game. It's not as good as Crash Team Racing because Crash Team Racing is the greatest game ever. But yeah, it's pretty good. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I actually own this digitally, but I also own it physically. 
Bass Pro Shops, the strike. If you want to fish and you don't want to go outside, play something else. Troll and Die, no. And Fire Emblem Warriors, the big box edition. And I've never played this game. I bought it because it was on sale. I like big box stuff like this, but I loved Hyrule Warriors, but the Fire Emblem characters, just they don't have that sort of nostalgia to me, sort of like the Hyrule Warriors characters do. I don't own Hyrule Warriors on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe I need to buy it, but yeah, here's Fire Emblem Warriors Special Edition. All right, so next up we have Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. I got this digitally as a review copy, but I also wanted it physically. It is still sealed. I love this game. That game is absolutely awesome. Dragon Quest XI, um, you know, just a fantastic RPG. Definitely a game that I think a lot of Nintendo Switch owners should pick up. The music's a little wonky. It sounds kind of like 60s Batman, you know, the original with Adam West and, and uh, Burt Ward, I think his name was. But yeah, it's a really great game. Lego Jurassic World, I love dinosaurs. I never had Legos as a kid because I was too stupid to build stuff with it, but I did have Lincoln Logs. Maybe they should make a Lincoln Logs Jurassic World game. Super Mario Maker 2, of course it's Mario Maker, but it's Super and it's the second game in the franchise. Fire Emblem Three Houses, because everyone loves Byleth. Byleth is the greatest character ever put into Smash Brothers. And yeah, this is where Byleth came from. So yeah, awesome. Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition. I did not really like this game. I got it digitally, but I also bought it physically because I forgot that I bought it physically. So yeah, and it's just a download code inside. It's pretty stupid. Marvel Super Heroes 2 for the Lego Switch. I don't know. I don't even know why I bought this, but I bought it. It's still sealed. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Another really fun game. Raiden 5, I really enjoyed this game. It was a very limited run of physical editions. They did one run and that was it. So if you didn't get it, you might want to try to find it. NBA 2K19 with the Greek Freak on the cover. Final Fantasy XX2 HD Remastered Edition. Very good stuff here. Team Sonic Racing, I mean, it's not Crash Team Racing, so it can't be as good as that, but a fun game. Dragon March for Death, this is actually a really kind of fun 2D game with uh, RPG elements to it. You know, not a lot of people talked about it, but I really enjoyed it. Double Switch, this is a limited run game. It is sealed because I don't like Double Switch. Uh, I don't know why I bought this game, but I did, you know, Eddie, Eddie. Hi, my name is Eddie. I need your help. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered has some frame rate issues, but it's still kind of fun. The Witcher 3, the complete edition. This, of course, came with a lot of physical goodies. I really enjoyed this game. Um, it's still a game that I'm still playing, so, you know, I'm not anywhere near done with it or anything like that. We also have Sonic Mania Plus. I own the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition, but it really didn't come with a physical game. I don't know. I might just show a little shot of it. But Sonic Mania Plus, of course, was a physical game, so I had to have this. And we also have Saints Row 3, the full package that came with a bunch of extra goodies as well. Now these games are more of the oddities in the collection, the limited run stuff, the super rare stuff, uh, limited edition in general stuff. We have Turok and Turok 2. This recently came in. Um, there are two games in here. I do own them digitally, so I probably won't open that. We have Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Once again, this is a sealed copy as well because I do own the game digitally. We have the Faerun collection from Super, run, uh, super Rare Games. Cool little game. We have Earthlock from Super Rare Games as well. We have John Denver or Joe Devers, Devers. The Lone Wolf, I really like this game. Nobody ever talks about this game. Buy it on the eShop uh, if the physical edition is too much because I, you know, it's a fun game. Uh, Macal Macalarnium, Macaroni. Okay. And we have Thimbleweed Park from Limited Run Games as well. This is a sealed copy of it. I do own this game digitally. A really fun game if you like, you know, Maniac Mansion style stuff. Let's go Pikachu with a ball. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. We have my one special reserve game and that is The Messenger. This is like a deluxe edition, I think. I don't really know, but I like The Messenger. I thought it was a really good game. We have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon for the Nintendo Switch. Awesome, awesome game. If you do not own Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, I highly suggest you pick it up. This was a really cool limited run version of the game. We also have Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Collector's Edition as well. Awesome fighting game. If you like Marvel versus Capcom style games and you like tag team style fighting games, you really need to pick it up, especially if you like Power Rangers. 
We have Deadly Premonition Origins Collector's Edition. This is still sealed. I probably won't open it as I do own the game digitally. We have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night Collector's Edition as well. This was a Kickstarter pre-order exclusive thing that one of my longtime viewers and a buddy of mine actually picked me up. Uh, I have the game digitally, so I don't need to open it. And my final physical game is Night Trap. This is probably my favorite collector's edition by far of any game. And you know what's funny? I don't like Night Trap. I thought night trap as a game kind of sucked but yeah this game absolutely is unique i would say but all the physical goodies that came with it are just absolutely awesome i actually did a full video on it back in the day showcasing the physical goodies i will have a link to it if you want to check that out but yes this is my physical nintendo switch collection i don't know how interesting this video was for you guys if you guys stuck around to this point i sincerely thank you for being a trooper and sticking with me but yes that is my physical switch collection um, i'm always buying games like i said there might be a few games out there that are like in the living room and a couch cushion or something that may have fallen but let me know in the comments section down below how many physical games you own for the nintendo switch i have over 100 games and yeah it's a lot of money when you when you think about it it's a lot of damn money and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out other videos on the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later